Hey, this is Lisa with Fly Fishing Waters. I'm here to invite you to join me in the Nymphing in November challenge. Every day in the month of November, I'm going to fish with a nymph and hopefully catch some decent trout. Uh, or I'm going to tie some nymphs for the coming season if it's just too nasty out to fish. But I also might get real nerdy and go underwater and film and photograph some of the bugs the trout like to eat. So. The headlines are terrible. The election's terrible. It's all just leave that behind. Get outside and either fish it, tie it, or take pictures of the bugs that trout like to eat and share them with us on our Facebook page. If you are a bug person, please share with us your knowledge and put some photos of those <laughs> aquatic bugs that the trout like to eat so much on our Facebook page. I'm going to stick some cameras underwater and I'm hoping to get a little bit of footage of the bugs crawling around. Like I got some last year while I was uh, creeping the spawner brown here in the creek. Uh, so every day, month of November, share with us something that involves nymphs. Fish eat uh, underwater aquatic insects all year long. It'd be great to know more about them. So join us for the 30-day nymphing in November challenge. <laughs> and uh, in a second here, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what's in here. I'm really blessed that I get to go fly fishing most every day in the summertime. Because in the fall, I'm always curious about fish in their spawning habits. Here in this back channel that is spring fed, I expected to find browns, but instead I found rainbows. I had to approach really quiet as the fish can hear my footsteps. There's a rock uh, that they feel safe hiding under there it is. And uh, there's a big group of fish that hide underneath here. Just a quiet back channel. Anyhow, hope you join me in the fly fishing 30 day challenge, nymphing in November. It's a great way to get outside, get away from the headlines and do some fishing. <laughs>